Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial. However, today we are once again doing another ultimate guide. Five ways to paint purple. I'm going to be doing purple capes here on these five Slaves to Darkness warriors. As you can see, the Chaos Warriors that we used in the Black Armor tutorial. And as mentioned, we are doing purple because we have five paints. <laughs> that could be considered purple. I mean, four of them have got purple in the name, right? We have Luxion Purple, Leviathan Purple, Magos Purple, Shaiish Purple, and Sigvald Burgundy. Now, Sigvald Burgundy is one of those ones where a burgundy is a reddy purple or a purpley red, but I think that Sigvald Burgundy looks way more purple than it does red. So I've put it here with our purple colors. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. We're doing five different recipes for all five of these. But what we're gonna do first is we're gonna show you all five of them as to what they look like just on their own. And then we're gonna spruce them up a bit and give you the full recipes one by one. So without further ado, we're gonna jump in and we're gonna start painting them. So the color we're gonna start with is Leviathan Purple, one of the new ones. It's the darkest purple that we have in the entire of the contrast range and it's fantastic. It's a glorious purple colour. And what we're going to do here over the top of Grace here, I don't think I've mentioned it, they've all been primed in Grace here. What we're going to do is we're going to load up our brush here with Leviathan Purple, and then we're just going to start applying this all over our cloak, being nice and methodical as we go. So we're just going to use these big, broad brush strokes to get a nice, smooth coat. Now, Leviathan Purple, as mentioned, is quite dark. It can be a little bit unruly. So you do just want to be very careful with how much you have on your brush. Because if you have too much, it will start to come out black. And that goes the same for Shaiish Purple as well in this range. I mean, this one isn't quite as temperamental as Shaiish Purple. As you can see, we're just gliding across the surface, being nice and methodical as we go across. Just like this. So with Leviathan purple all applied, I'm not going to show it to you just yet. I want it to be a surprise. <laughs> what we're going to do is move on to the next colour, and that's going to be Shaiish purple. And we're going to apply this over the top of this cloak. Now again, same thing, same principles apply. And make contact up here and use lots of big broad brush strokes. Now Leviathan Purple, not Leviathan Purple, this is Shaiish Purple. As you can see this is going to get confusing. Shaiish Purple is the classic old purple and it is one of the most temperamental contrast paints in the range. Now, it does have a lovely finish but you do have to be really careful with it. Get a nice smooth finish. So as you can see, I've got a little bit too much just there. So I just need to go in and just move that paint off a little bit. There we go. Thank you. 
Moving on to our next paint, we have Luxion Purple, another one of the new ones. And what we're going to do now is just as exactly as we've done twice already before, is we're just going to load up the brush. And we're just going to start now with this guy. I'm actually going to start on the inside because you can see the folds are actually in slightly annoying places for this. So we're just going to start right up here underneath his armpit. Now, Luxion Purple is really bright, as you can see just there. Now, something that you will learn as purple fans watching this video is that these purple paints generally tend to be a little bit temperamental. <laughs> and Luxion Purple is exactly the same. It's a very nice paint, but it can get away from you. So you just want to go back to the pot little and, lot, little and often. And what I mean by that is little amounts and head to the pot many times. You don't want to load up too much because it, it, this one can really get away from you. It feels quite thin as a paint. So with Luxion Purple all applied, we are then going to use Magos Purple, another classic from the contrast range. This is the thinnest of the purples, and it is arguably pink. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> so we're just now going to start applying this. So with that Magos purple applied, we then have our final purple, and that's going to be Sigvald Burgundy. As you can see, it does sit between that line of red and purple. It's Burgundy after all. It's actually kind of pink as well, but I feel like it sits here in the purple range. If Magos Purple gets to be called <laughs> Magos Purple, then Sigval Burgundy gets to sit in the purple range. So with Sigvald Burgundy applied, as you can see, we have five completely different purples. So <laughs> that's why it's very tough when it comes to purple contrast paints and purple schemes, because all five of these are very clearly got purple in them, but they are all completely different, ranging from a deep sort of pink to a very bright sort of pink, but still very clearly got that purpleness to it. Now, we've got our three kind of what I would consider sort of true purples here, the Leviathan, the Shayish, 
and the Luxion purple over here on the left. And of course, we've got Magos purple there and Sigval burgundy. But I just wanted to show you all five of these next to each other so you can just kind of understand just how different all five of these paints are. Look at that. Behold. I think Shayish purple is the one that's kind of the flattest. I think the others have kind of got a bit of nous about them. But yeah, there you go. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we're going to make some schemes for you. And we're going to start as we began with our Leviathan purple one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Jean Steeler purple here. And we're going to use this to highlight the cloak. It's nice and simple. Just picking out all of the edges. In the cloak. Just like this. So that Jean Steeler purple all applied, what we then do is we take some Slanash Grey. We're going to use this as our little spot highlight. So we're just going to pick out the sharpest points. We're just going to take it past it just a little bit. So for example, just there on that fold. We're just going to add a little bit like that. Similarly, around the bottom edges of the tears in the fabric. And at the sharpest corners. of the cloak. Like that sort of thing. So with that done, our Leviathan purple cape is now finished and it looks absolutely fantastic. It's a really, really lovely color. Very, very simple scheme to achieve that one. Now what we're gonna do is gonna pop that one to one side and we're gonna work on our problem child here, which is Shaiish purple. Now Shaiish purple has long had its issues. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely a lovely colour, but it, it, it's just, it kind of lacks any depth. It feels very, very flat. So that's what we're going to add in now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Nagaroth Knight and we're going to apply this over the top of the flats of our Shaiish Purple Cape. Just avoiding where the dark purple has settled. Because the dark parts of Shaish purple are lovely. So with that Nagaroth Knight all applied, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down Zerius purple. I'm going to apply this over the top of the most raised areas of the cloak. So we've got this kind of large fold here. We've got one just there as well. We've got one here, and we've got one over here as well. Like that. And similarly on the inside here. So with that Zerius purple applied, what we then do is we take some Demonette Hide and then we're going to use this to now pick out the edges
in all of our purple. And so with that demonette hide applied, we then once again take some slanash gray and we apply this to the sharpest points on our model. So with that done, we've got our first two purple capes and they're looking pretty spicy. So we're gonna move on to our third here. And this is gonna be our Luxion purple one. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add a little bit of shading because it's whilst it's a nice kind of bright purple, we wanna just take the edge off it just ever so slowly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use one of the new reformulated shades. We're gonna use Drooky Violet here and we're gonna apply this over the top of the purple. So with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Gene Stealer Purple and we're going to apply this over the flats on the cloak. Now, it's not going to look like it's doing very much, but what it is doing is going to be smoothing out any kind of inconsistencies that you might have. So you do just want to be very careful around areas such as the tears in the fabric or anywhere where our Drooky Violet and Luxion Purple have really settled in the recesses. And as you can see, it doesn't look like it's doing loads, but trust me, it's doing more than you think. So with that now done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thin down Slanesh Gray. And we're gonna use this to highlight. So with that Slanesh Grey applied, what we then do is we take a little bit of Pallid Witch Flash and we apply this to the sharpest points on the cloak. So with that done, our Luxion purple scheme is now finished. And if we compare it alongside our Shaiish purple and Leviathan purple schemes, as you can see, they're very, very different. Got a really lovely pale purple here. Looks awesome. So what we're gonna do now is move on to the next one. And that is of course gonna be Magos purple or Magos pink. <laughs> Anyway, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take some more Magos Purple, we're gonna double down, we're gonna take another layer of this over the top of the one that we've already done. And so we just add a little bit more purple in there. Or a little bit more pink, depends on how you view this paint. As you can see, 
and when you compare the two next to each other, you can see already there's a very stark difference between one coat and two. Just like this. So with that done, it's starting to look a little bit more purple. However, it is still quite pink, but that's okay, because we're gonna to stick to this kind of tone. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down cacophony purple here, and we're now gonna apply this over the top. Of the flats. of our cloak, just avoiding any of those recesses. Just like this. So with that done, we're then going to take some thinned down full grim pink and going to use this to highlight. So with that done, it's finished. We don't want to spot highlight it too much because it becomes too painfully bright and it then definitely looks pink. I mean, it looks pink now already, but that is the brightest purple that we can muster without it looking completely pink. But there we go, there you have it, looks awesome. So what we're gonna do is gonna pop that to one side and now we're gonna work on our last one, which is our burgundy. So what we're gonna do here we're going to add a little bit of purple in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some Druki Violet. I'm going to apply this over the top of our Sigvald Burgundy. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down pink horror. I'm going to apply this as a very narrow highlight to all of our sharpest areas. And so with that done, we then take some Cadian Flesh Tone and we apply this to the sharpest points and corners 
on the cloak. So with that now done, all five of our purple cloaks are now finished and we've got a completely different range of colours going on here and I think they all look fantastic. Now, two of them do air towards the side of pink, although I would argue that the Sigvald Burgundy is more of a kind of purple wine colour, wine, it's all, but it's just wine is usually what you look at it. Um, and this one, whilst it is kind of got those elements of pink, it does air on the cold side of pink is quite warm at times, like fulgrim pink. It's a very warm, bright color. Doesn't make any sense, but it is. So it's actually quite a cold pink, so it moves it more towards the purple side of, of things. However, over here, we've got three very, very clearly purple, or at least what the definition of purple, as I would understand it, looks like. And I think they all look fantastic. I think my favorite there is the Leviathan purple one. It's an absolutely gorgeous color and I can't wait to use it more in my videos. Shaiish purple has its place, but it does need a lot more work to make it kind of just really nice. I think that's something that I've experienced quite a lot on the channel, doing kind of various things like adding the lupus pink over the top to make a kind of burgundy or things like that. And kind of using it more as like an additive to other kind of recipes and things I think is probably the future for Shaiish purple, although occasionally you will want something that's as cold as that. And that's the thing with purple is you kind of you don't often get cold purples. They're qu it's quite a warm color by its very nature. And you can see this definitely in the Leviathan and in the Luxion purple. And that's what I love about these two new additions here with purple in the title at least. They just add so much more. Whereas before we just had Shaiish purple and various thins thins down versions or various mixes in order to get things but I think we've got some really really cool options here. Now that burgundy, it is burgundy as mentioned, it's kind of probably not coming up too well on the camera but it definitely fits within this spectrum although it could fit within the red and it could also fit as the kind of baseline for a very pink, it's kind of one of the things with colours like burgundy or even something like maroon, for example, they do kind of air towards the eye of the beholder type thing. So here we have it then, all five of our finished purple capes. And as you can probably tell, I'm still pretty ill having filmed this one and by the tone of my voice. But I really enjoyed this one, a study of purple. I've not really done it before and it's a really, really lovely colour to work with and I think the reason I haven't used it as much is because Shaiish purple is just that little bit problematic. But now we have all the purples we could possibly need to combat all of our purple requirements. For Warhammer, really, really cool. I think Sigvald Burgundy and Leviathan Purple really stand out to me. They're great. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you could become a YouTube member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, just like these amazing, wonderful people have done. And if you really like this video or you just want to shoot me some support, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.